hello traders welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to trade with candlestick psychology so let's start this is AUDCAD otc market the major trend is downtrend and the minor trend is uptrend so there's a level here the snr level okay But I can see some bias entry from this level. Okay, let me adjust the level. The next level is here. Okay, now I can see rejection from that same level. So I'm going to place a put option. I place a put option here because the major trend is downtrend and the minor trend is downtrend. And from this level, I saw a rejection from sellers. And this candle is a reversal candlestick. So it means that the sellers still want to go more down. Okay, it's close as a bearish, not bullish. But because of buying pressure, the buyers will try to go more up. The buyers will try to form a fake, a strong green candle. We can see. But it will close as a bearish because of strong downtrend. So after this candle, okay, there's no level. After this candle, I'm going to place a put option. I place a put option here because the major trend is downtrend and the minor trend is also downtrend. And from this level, I saw a rejection from sellers so it means that the sellers want to go more down but let's see okay yeah i can see some rejections here and here again okay so i will adjust the line because the next level is here the next bias entry point okay now you can see rejection. So you need to observe what the market is doing before you place your trade. You need to understand before you place your trade. You can see rejection. So I'm going to place a call option. I place a call option. Okay, where is it? Where is it? Okay, somewhere right here. I place a call option because the trend is uptrend here and i can see rejection rejection from this uh, bias entry rejection again from this strong level so the bias will form a bullish candle that's why i place a call option okay so let me fix it here okay the bias enter the market so let me adjust the level. The next seller's entry is here, which, I, which I'm expecting the, the sellers to enter the market. Okay, I think the buyers are strong now. So you need to observe the, what the buyers are doing. So I'm going to place a call option. Okay, I place a call option here because of this hub trend here. And from this level, I can see a strong buyer entry, strong bullish candle. Break this seller's entry point, close without upper rejection. So the buyer still want to go more up. That is why I place a call option. Okay. So after this trade, I will stop trading. Okay. So you need to understand what the buyers and sellers are doing before you take your trade. And always check the levels on otc market because otc market trading with the levels is very much important in otc market okay so i know that the buyers want to go more of that's why i place a call option okay you can see gave me a winning trade so i have taken four trades you can see you can see so I will show you, okay, you can see all my four trades, ITM, 
okay i will explain the trade again here i place a put option okay the level is here okay the level is here i place a put option here because the major trend is downtrend and the minor trend also is downtrend and from this level here i saw some seller entry rejection and uh, that means the sellers want to go more down that's why i place a put option and here i place a put option here yeah, because the trend the major trend is downtrend and the minor trend is also downtrend and from this strong level i saw this strong sellers area i saw a rejection from sellers here yeah and a strong bearish candle so it means that the sellers want to form a bearish candle that is why i place a put option and here i place a call option because okay let me show you let me adjust the line to this level okay the buyers are here i place a call option here because the trend is uptrend and i see saw some rejections rejection here also rejection and this is a reversal candlestick and it closed exactly at this strong level so the buyers will enter i know that the buyers will enter that's why i place a call option okay and here i place a call option because from this the trend is uptrend and from this level I saw a strong level. I saw a strong buyer's entry. It broke this seller's area. And here also it broke this seller's, this seller's area. And a strong candle formed from buyer's area. Close without upper rejection from sellers. Yeah. It means that the buyer want to go more up. Okay. That's why I place a call option. Okay. So now I've taken four trades. Okay. If you like my video, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.